Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at how to work with strings a little bit more. So first thing I want to look at is how to embed strings within other strings. So to take a simple example, let's say you have a message like this msg equals I scored 95 out of 95 points. Okay, so something like this. Now instead of saying 95 points, I want to define a score variable and put that the 95 points inside that and then I want to say msg equals I scored and instead of saying 95 I can say percent %s points now this percent %s is a placeholder and you can see that um, there are two components there is a percent sign which tells python that there's a special character and the s sign that tells that this is a string that should be inserted here you can now print print msg and you can say percent and you can say sc and if you do that it'll print i scored 95 points now you can change sc to let's say you can have sc1 sc1 equals 90 points and you can now have a print sc1 and now it'll say i scored 90 points instead so this is a nice way for you to um, keep your string flexible so for example if you're creating a web application you want to display some uh, message to the user so instead of uh, hard coding your message you can have some variables like these like for example the user's name the account balance and so on and those variables can be populated into the main string can be embedded into the main string and you can display this to the user so there are lots of interesting uses for this sort of feature now it's not just restricted to one placeholder. You can also do two placeholders in the same one. So for example, I want to say, define a variable called total and call that 100. Now I can write my MSG message as I scored percent S uh, out of a total of percent S points. And now if you say print, you can say msg percent within parenthesis sc and tot so if you do this it'll say i scored 95 out of a total of 100 points this 95 is coming from this first variable the 100 is coming from the second variable you don't have to define variables you can also do something like this um, we can just hard code this here 95 and 100 you can just do this the next thing i want to talk about is uh, adding up two strings or concatenating two strings so sometimes you need to have a string that goes like this hello and space uh, plus space world okay so something like this so if you type in a it's going to type in hello space world and the way it got that was because we added up these two strings that's why you would concatenate the strings now just be careful in this example if you did this if you did this then it'll look a little weird because notice that there is no blank in either of these places so what you need to do is put a blank here or put a blank here so that's something to keep in mind and now it'll appear properly the final thing i want to talk about today is uh, that you can also multiply strings now that may appear a little strange but uh, let me just show that here so supposing you want to do this a equals hello times five and if you type in a it'll say five times so that's what it means to multiply a string or you could combine the two operations you could do an addition and multiplication like this a equals hello plus o times 10 and now a is oops that's an uppercase o i should have made this a lowercase o you can correct that now and now a is hello so so that's those are some of the nice things you can do with strings so i hope you like this thank you for watching have a good day